Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. I'm at the Delft Market. You see Mark there, we're having some fish, but I just saw this really cute cat. <laughs> He's waiting for food. It's really early right now, and um, usually this place is really packed, and I guess people would throw him some fish sometimes. I don't know, it's just the cutest thing ever. And I'm not like, I'm allergic to cats, and I, I still like cats, but I'm allergic to them, but I'm more like a dog person. But uh, I just thought this was like super cute. Him just waiting patiently, uh, waiting for some fish. <laughs> Mark is there <laughs> looking at him. <laughs> uh, so cute. So here it is. This is called kibbling in the Netherlands. I'm not sure what it is in English. You know what this means? I think it's trout, but I'm not sure. Not sure, but it's it pretty much is the the fish and chips type of fish that you get when you get when you order fish and chips. It's like that white juicy fish. I don't know which mm -hmm. one. There's different kinds. This one's called kibbling. It's really really nice. We usually dip it in this sauce. It's called cocktail sauce. Um, choose different sauces like cocktail sauce and um, garlic sauce. Garlic sauce and um, tartar sauce and all that stuff. This costs six fifty for this whole entire thing. Really, really nice. So I'm gonna dig in now, and yeah, you'll hear from me in a bit. Hey everybody, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Elizabeth Arden Fifth Avenue Royale. This was a blind buy, you guys. I blind bought this because I saw some people talk about it on Instagram. And also, some of you recommended that I try this in the comments of some other videos. So thank you so much for the recommendation. So after that, I took a look at the notes and they looked really interesting. Also, I looked at the price and that's what pretty much sold me. This was only 21 euros and this has a lot of juice in it. This one has 125 milliliters. So yeah, you do get a lot of perfume <laughs> and I really like finding bargain perfumes that are actually good. So yeah, I didn't really hesitate to blind buy this and I've been wearing it for the past few days. So basically it's just my first impressions of this. Keep that in mind. So notes in this one there on the top there's liquor and raspberry in the mid there's patchouli and in the base there's suede so let me just um, spray some of this on a touch strip i will say that the fingerprints do get stuck on here i don't know if it's going to show oh yeah you can see the fingerprints all over <laughs> and also on the gold cap, so that might bother some of you. It kind of bothers me, but you know, it is what it is. This one starts off slightly boozy. I definitely get like a dark, smoky woodiness in here. And also, I do pick up on the patchouli right away. Um, when I say these notes, boozy, woody, patchouli, you might be thinking that it's like super heavy and cloying. For me, I didn't find that at all. This is quite a lot lighter than I expected it to be. I also get a sweetness in here. Apparently the notes say that it's raspberry, but if I didn't read the notes, I definitely wouldn't think that it's a raspberry scent. Um, I would just say that, you know, there's some heavier notes and I do detect a little bit of a sweetness coming through. It's not listed in the notes, but I kind of think that I smell some oud in here and it's not like a, a barnyardy oud or anything like that it's just like a a dark smoky woody scent that is kind of oud-ish um, but not really oudy if that makes sense or definitely not a barnyard kind of oud but there's like a, a hint of oud in here at least to my nose and yeah, it's a really nice opening. I was very surprised by this, you guys. I was not expecting it. Um, when I think of Elizabeth Arden perfumes, I'm thinking of like those 90s perfumes. And 
I'm thinking mostly of the tea line and although I haven't tried a lot of the tea line I have heard from many that it's very light and you know fleeting and just very light and fresh um, this one was a nice surprise that it's more heavier darker and um, more mysterious I guess but not really cloying at all so it's a very nice balance I think as this fragrance dries down on my skin that's where the leather comes out it is a suede leather so I was picturing the smoothness of a suede jacket and I still get the woodiness in here too, also uh, the patchouli, but also I smell some musk. So there's no musk in the notes, but I am definitely reminded of like a musky, woody, suede scent. Um, the sweetness is still there. In the opening, I just caught a hint of it, but as this fragrance dried down, um, it did get sweeter. So that was kind of nice as well. And yeah, I really like this one, you guys. I really enjoyed it. Uh, for the price, the 21 euros, I think it's a really great deal. Um, it is a very smooth kind of scent. I think that, um, well, this is marketed towards m women, but I think it's definitely unisex. And maybe some of you might even say that this leans a little bit more on the masculine side or typically masculine side. Either way, it's a well done scent, you guys, of... Um, something that I would probably prefer wearing in colder weather for the fall and winter. I will say that when I wore this, I was reminded of a few other fragrances that don't really smell exactly like this, but it did remind me for sure of some other perfumes. And those perfumes I have here, I'll just men mention them quickly. So we have Stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is like a nice woody patchouli scent. It does not smell like your typical celebrity scent at all, but it is a great woody scent. That kind of reminded me a little bit of the Fifth Avenue Royale. Also, we have Oud Wood by Tom Ford and also another Tom Ford fragrance, the Tuscan Leather. Again, they don't smell exactly the same, but I think that if you took parts of each of these three fragrances, you would end up with something kind of similar to this. Uh, this one isn't very strong like these two. <laughs> no, it's not at all. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one and I was glad to pick this up. This was a success, a blind by success, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this this season fall and winter so yeah those were my quick thoughts on elizabeth arden fifth avenue royale if you guys have tried this perfume i would love to hear your thoughts on it thank you guys so much for tuning in today i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys bye bye